Yo, what's good, YouTube? I do want to apologize because I have a dog. I think the dog's being tortured. I think someone in my apartment building is torturing animals. I don't know who, I don't know where, I don't know what, but this is downtown LA for y'all. So I apologize if y'all hear a barking dog in the background. I promise y'all it's not my dog, Ash. Ash is safe, comfortable, and chewing on his bone as we speak right now. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Right now we had Candace Owens on the Whatever Podcast as she debunks these whores, statements, and ways of thinking because they are bad influences, apparently. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. To a lot of insecure men, typically those are the ones that can't handle me doing what I do for work. And... Um, well, just a point of clarification. So you've run into a lot of insecure men and, and are they insecure because they don't want to date you because you are currently active as a prostitute? No, I'm saying I just want to <laughs> I'm terrible for this. I'm probably going to hell for this. I just want to point something out. Y'all see these are all beautiful young ladies. Um, you know, I don't know too much about them, um, but just a trend that's going on that we all see. Um, it's a lot of plastic surgeries going on. I just want y'all to see what y'all are going to look like. You, you know, y'all four are going to look like Miss Daisy Dukes over here. Wrinkled and shriveled up. You know, it's, this is what you're going to look like in 20, 30 years. Probably, probably 10. But, uh, yeah, that's what you got to look forward to. So, to each his own, if that's what you prefer. And you want to continue down the plastic surgery path then then by all means whatever makes you happy dog let's get straight back let's get back to the video saying i've never dated a guy while i was uh, working at the brothels mm -hmm. at hmm. the bunny ranch or the mustang ranch but i've been dating comment down below where is the mustang ranch or the bunny ranch you gotta take a i just want to check it out for documentary purposes only i just want to see for myself is everything are these women being treated well? Is it a safe environment? I just want to see. Comment down below. Where are these places at? We can probably take a take a you know a trip together. It might take probably a trip. It might take the whole week weekend. It might take more than one day. So you know, I'm, we might have to pack a, a bag too. Maybe some luggage. Just just for you know safe. Save precautions, it's a protocol. Guys, like between me doing camming and sure. dancing, so that's what I'm talking about. But um, you, you mentioned insecure men. What, what make, what specifically are they doing that makes them insecure? Is it because they they're insecure about your work? Yes, like uh, I've had exes in the past that would cry about me going to work to dance at the strip club. <laughs> mm, okay. um, I've had guys try to control like what I wear and. Um, say that I can't work at strip clubs or do only bands or whatever. Um, is it, oh, sorry, was there more? No, and that's... Okay, is it because they're insecure or is that just them having boundaries and standards? I feel like that's... I mean, you knew what I was doing before you met me, right? True. So yeah. all of them knew exactly what I was doing before they met me, which brings it to, yeah, if you have a problem with what I do before you meet me, maybe don't get in involved with me sure i'm mm -hmm. very open i'm a very honest person um you knew what i was doing before you met me mm. if you don't like it there's the door nobody's making you stay i think too um gentlemen love the door candace's gaze it, this ain't it but when she be squinting her eyes nobody's at you, you stay. like right here how could you not feel that you know, I don't know what Candace is thinking, but it's very, very, uh, it feels like she's looking, looking through my soul. So how could you, how could you just carry on about the conversation? I want to pause and ask her, what the hell are you looking at? Because this is very uncomfortable for me, Candace. Chill out. I think too, um, gentlemen love the idea of dating mm -hmm. us. And then once mm -hmm. we go to do it, then it's not really realistic. Right. It's almost like fetish show. Fetish. Like, right. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's so hot. Oh, I have a granny. girlfriend that does Ugh. this, that, and the other. And then Ugh. when they're really at home and I'm like on OnlyFans or on a on a call with a client or whatever, they're like, 
no, this is weird. Mm. This is weird. You know what I mean? And that, I think it's an insecurity, yes. Because mm. you knew where I was coming from. You knew what I was doing. And you weren't okay with it. Then you should have had me. Canada's got something to say. Got a point. Well, I mean, I suppose you have a point that, I mean, if they knew going in mm -hmm. that you this is what you do for work, you're a stripper, or you're... Right. I mean, me? Yeah, I mean... See, now, if you're a trick, it's different, because I feel like those equal each other out. You know, unless these men that she has gotten to relationships with are tricks, then, yeah, they shouldn't have their feelings involved. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't even know why a man would want to take these type of women seriously, and I don't know why the woman would even want, like, a relationship. If this is her career, this is her job, she enjoys this type of work, then she should just be a single entity. She shouldn't have no relationships with nobody you know if she keeps running into these insecure men and i think it's the men's fault that's y'all fault y'all if y'all falling for the trap right here i mean we all we all do it but not to this extreme like she's telling you what it is she's telling you she's she tell you what she does for work you know apparently she does prostitution i'm, I'm hearing it, why would you even put yourself in that predicament brother why would you even do that to yourself? You asking for it at this point. So you can't be insecure. You got to be cool with it. And some dudes had that, had that fetish. I'm not going to lie. Look at Adam 22. A lot of people do. So I guess everybody can't handle the heat. But these type of women, man, she's talking about she works at the brothel. Man, hey, look, I don't, I don't judge these type of women because they've been around forever, for centuries. They've been, they've been around forever. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a, it, nothing's new under the sun. This is just a new version of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't judge these women. They've been around forever for, you know, for pleasures that men look for. So, I mean, I think they, you know, I'm not saying, you know, it's right or wrong, but you know, it's, it's been around, it's been around forever. So who's, who's, who's to say that it's wrong? I don't know. Comment down below what y'all thoughts are, but I wouldn't try to save him. Don't don't play Captain Save a Ho. Don't try to save him. Just let them do what they do. They make somebody happy. That's what's important. You're doing OnlyFans or you're doing sex work, then I think it's a a little bit of a stretch that all of a sudden a couple of weeks or months into a relationship. By the way, I'm not gonna watch the whole video. It's four five hours long talking for five hours like this is crazy um this is too long so i'm gonna watch like 10 15 minutes of relationship it. then they start changing up but i think to dif differentiate the conversation a little bit for example like let's say and i don't know if you mentioned this when it comes to like posting perhaps revealing photos online not intended for commercial like the they're just on instagram they're but they're not monetizing it they're not content creators or like for example if they go to the bar, club, party a lot. Um, would you consider it insecure if a guy, maybe three months into a, a relationship, at that point he started having issues with some with uh, with you or with another girl? Candace is gay, it's saying, scary. Hey, I don't, I don't want you to go to it's scary. bars anymore. And, and I don't he want already you to... knew? <laughs> when a black woman gave you that gay. Well, like, I assume he knew. Yeah. So... If he already knew, then... Well, I, I guess my framing is, prior to dating, he had no problem with you or with another girl engaging in what mm -hmm. he considered to be single behavior at the time. But once you or whoever it is started dating, he wanted his partner to act in a way that he thought was more consistent with being in a relationship. No, nah, you're trying to change so her at that point. perhaps it's okay to go out to me personally. I, even if I'm single, I'm not really interested in going to bars, clubs. And I don't post revealing photos online, but uh, I don't know. I feel like that men don't do that too much. I mean, there's certainly men that post like whatever. Anyways, um, but once you get into the relationship, there's expectations that certain things change. Well, with the sex worker. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm just differentiating when it comes to like posting revealing photos if it's nah. not for your work. Uh, what are you talking yeah, about, like, bud? I, I, I can separate my work identity sure. from. Go ahead, you want to come in? I think, I mean...
Candace, I know you listen to these women realization that this country is dooms. How will you help your son navigate this one? If we're talking somebody that's not yeah, a sex worker and is posting revealing photos, I think that that's something that you talk about before getting to, into an, a relationship with somebody. Because then if you're talking, you know, and a guy is like, you know, my expectations for my girlfriend are X, Y, Z. I don't like these kind of revealing photos for my girlfriend. I don't like her, like you going out all the time. And then I think from then on, that's when you decide whether to make a relationship serious or not. Because if she doesn't want to restrict where she's going or what she's doing or the type of photos she's posting for him, then that's her decision. But I don't think that it's wrong for a partner to ask her, you know, hey, if we're in a relationship, this is what I expect. And then, you know, she makes the decision, yes, I will do those things or no. But do you, do you think that so early on, like say on the first date or second date, that there's enough of a relationship established for a guy to have enough, I don't know if leverage is the right word, but like enough pull or influence to be like, hey, listen, I don't want you doing this anymore. You Absolutely not. Absolutely But that's, I mean, she just said change. that you should early on, you should early say, on, I not don't. date number one. Date not number date one. number oh, one, not okay. date number two. <laughs> okay. That is Maybe date wild. number three, I mean, okay, four. Wait, wait, like, there's, okay. I think there's two things Go ahead, go, um, going on here. I think, um, I think, um, I think he's trying to play Captain Sabo and they not going for it. These questions are stupid. Who's this podcaster? These questions are dumb. I'm not, I'm not with it. He's, he's blinded by the fact that he has this image in his head that women, mo a lot of women, most women, all women should, should hold these certain standards to themselves. When, hey, I, in actuality, man, a lot of these women do be freaks. I'm not gonna lie. Like, and again, these women are here, they know their purpose in the world. That's just what it is. You got women like this, and then you got your good girls. Mm, far few in between, but that's another topic. But yeah, like they have a place in this world as well. Let's not take away from what they, let's not try to change them. I think that's the biggest thing right here. This is You can date someone, nonsense. and then as a relationship evolves and changes, some things that you thought you were comfortable with, you're like, hey, I'm not really comfortable with this anymore. Yeah, I think thing. that's reasonable. Um, but I think that's very distinct than going into relationship thinking, oh, I don't like the fact that she posts these types of photos. I'm going to make her stop. You know, I'm going to change her. Because <laughs> you're I setting say. up, I think, everyone for disappointment. Mm -hmm. You're setting up yourself, yes. her. There's a difference between going into something, having... Why are these hoes making more sense to the podcaster? Why am I agreeing with them right now? I think... Where's Can where, where, when, when does Candace uh, come in? There and intentionally trying to change before you even date, really. I have a question. Yeah. If you ever fell in love with somebody, would you be willing to delete all of your stuff if they asked you? Would I be? Yes. Love. If you, as a sex worker and everything mm. that you do, if you fell in love and you found someone mm. and they asked you to She got her mind made up. She's so too far with gone. with that being said, I am currently single because of what I do for work. I am very much so busy doing my work. Yeah, she's too I far gone. Full throttle, like yeah. wanting to make money and capitalize off of this industry yeah. to the best of my ability and make it to the point where I can retire. And then it's like also making this much money and doing what I do for work, it puts me in a position to be able to meet the p type of guys that I want to meet, right? Um, the higher end type of guys. And maybe later on down the line, not any time yet uh i would be open to it if i find everything happens for a reason you know you never say never see grandma she gotta put her own game because when you get about right here you know you can buy all the plastic you can you can buy the balloons that you want you probably go visit the doctor you know twice a year to, to fill those suckers up but once you get to that certain level and you get that high quality man he not gonna want. He not gonna take you the same. The average dude ain't gonna take you the same, or, or he he's not gonna take you serious. What am I talking about? I'm not gonna take you serious. Once you get to that status, you know, cause time waits for no person. So once you get to where you want to go, and they know about your past, because like you just said, you are honest, and open book. Bae, this is what I used to do for a living. This is how I got to this point now. That could be 10 years from now. You, you're, you're going to age. Beauty doesn't last forever. You got you to gotta consider these things. You know, it's, it's, like, it's like drug dealers. You got to get in get out as quick as possible. You shouldn't even got in the game in the first place. Now people going to judge you off your past. It's bad. But, like, 
if I found Prince Charming or something one day and she don't believe in that shit he didn't want me doing this anymore like the or I wouldn't be doing this anyways I want to retire from it at one point and then yeah eventually maybe and when you say high end men what do you mean like like high value men yes high value. or men with a lot of money high value <laughs> I have a question for you two here. Uh, so both of you do OnlyFans. Having done OnlyFans, he get on my nerves. To do OnlyFans, has it had any negative impacts on your dating process? He keep asking the same questions. Date, I'm about to skip over this. Maybe non-issue at all. Some. To do or a sex worker, is there? There's all right, Candace. Can, Candace came in. Let's bring it back a little bit. But, but it might not necessarily be related to that you're not doing L podcast. I also don't do um, nudes on OnlyFans, so it's just like lingerie content. Oh, um, okay. So I think that uh, also maybe helps because I, I, so, sure. yeah. Okay. Um, question here for Candice. So um, what are your thoughts on OnlyFans, uh, sex work, and do you believe that uh, a woman doing OnlyFans or porn might have an impact on her future romantic prospects? Uh, and if so, how and why? I can repeat it. That was yeah. a lot, so let no, me know no, if you need me to repeat it. Um, I, I talk about this extensively on my show. I mean, the truth is that if you are going to engage in sex work, you are going to probably make a lot of money, especially if you're young. Um, you're on a very tight rope as you get older. Your value goes down, and men are going to want women that are younger and available to them. What um, I say? I'm talking about in terms of just making the person who will subscribe to your OnlyFans page. You know, obviously, women, it's, you're, you're declining as you age, as and um, the truth is, is that high value men don't want to date women that are sex workers or even women that aren't sex workers and lean into the whole talking about how sexy and are, really, are freely available on the internet for other men to see. She sleep. agrees. She's shaking her head. Yes. What we're talking about is biological proclivity. Um, what men are doing when they first say, uh, ah, it sounds amazing to be a stripper or date a prostitute or date a sex worker is there yeah, more sex. this instinct to have sex. It's going to be amazing to have sex all the time. But then when they realize that actually a form of wanting to be in a relationship is feeling that there's a mystery to a woman, that there's something that's yours, there's something that's sacred, there's something that's powerful and beautiful that just you share. And when they realize that they have to share that with other men, it completely diminishes the man. Um, a recent cultural example of that, obviously, is what's happening with Nina Agdahl. Uh, she's not a sex worker by any means, so she's, she just kind of said some sexy things on the internet um, about wanting cock and look at what... <laughs> Was not expecting that from Candace. <laughs> I'm just, I'm quoting her directly. So this is purely academic. <laughs> purely um, academic. Purely <laughs> academic. And look at what happens. You know, now Logan has become the lot laughing stock of other men as they piece together everything yeah. that she's ever That's his fault. Overtly sexual. Mm. That's his fault. Sex worker. But what happened is her value just completely plummeted because, uh, you know, they're this thing that men need, need to feel. Um, Logan. The whole Logan Paul situation, that's his fault. He shouldn't feel it no type of way. He should know what comes with this. Yeah, it is. Um, and I don't want to say possession in a way that sounds bad, because it's not bad. It's actually really beautiful. Um, and I'm lucky and fortunate that I get to experience that in my marriage, you know, and, and it's it's something that women should strive toward. And women that make those exchanges in their youth, I think that's sad, and I do feel bad for the ag doll, is because she said a lot of those statements when she was really young, she's probably your age, <laughs> um, and she, she had a camera, and she said it, and it lives forever, and now every man that she dates is going to say, Dylan Danis has made her available to everyone, and it's, it's, I, hope things work out between her and Logan, but <laughs> if you don't think that that's going to impact Logan or that's not actually it should, it him shouldn't. as a man, it no, is. It shouldn't. Um, so it probably with is, but women, it it's a trade-off. The first thing you said was, I make money, this is about money. It's about money, but when it comes down to marrying these women, men, men just don't well, want And it. that's exactly why I said that in this industry, I'm single mm -hmm. until I retire. I, I don't, was, but I, it will still matter. I don't plan on doing this or getting married or finding the love of my life until I retire, like truthfully. And, and then I, I after that, that you see what happens to the ag doll. No, no, no. And then after that, I will be honest and truthful with the person that I will be getting married to or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it'll be up to him to accept that. Right. So, and, I, and, and I'm just saying that men's decision. natural proclivity is to not accept that because it brings them shame. Um, men are biologically okay. proud creatures. I understand, and but not everybody wait, on, can be like No, I know. I'm, I'm not. At, I'm just telling you what is happening and why people are just talking about cultural events and the Agdahl thing and 
if you look at people like Emily Rodzikowski, she's obviously hot. <laughs> um, but this is a woman who's now trying to make divorce chic. And I think that the understanding is in Hollywood is, you know, sleep with her and move on. She's not marriage material. Um, her husband, when he had her, cheated on her because they didn't have that thing. She was, I feel like I've, I've slept with the girl. I've seen her naked so many times, right? So there's nothing special about Sebastian Bear marrying her because we've all seen her naked. There's nothing sacred in Oof. that relationship. And I, I'm just Oof. speaking on telling you, you know, this is why women struggle to get married when they- Candace is cooking. On OnlyFans because other men don't want to share. They don't want to share their wife. They maybe will share their girlfriend. They might think it's fun to date a stripper for a little bit. Grandma, Grandma Green. They're gonna have sex 12 times a day. But then when it gets down to just their biological instinct, it's it's actually quite embarrassing for them as a man because they can look up your girl and here she is, you know? So Damn. That's what I think it's happening. Cooked. Yeah, I'm um I'm just curious about your opinion on this because I've seen like a couple of people in like Red Spill spaces, like page or people similar to that, talking about how they should marry a young woman. Would you agree or disagree yeah. that that might not be the most like, rational course of action? To, to marry a young woman? What do you mean by yes. that? That I hear a lot of men talk about how a woman inherently loses value as she gets. Okay, well, anyway, I don't want this video to get too long. We just covered a few topics. Um, I'm already at the 22 mark, going on the 22 mark. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Comment y'all opinions below. It's your boy, Jay Styles. I'll see y'all in the next video, man.